One of Apex Legends' most formidable movement legends in all the Outlands is going to be Horizon. If you want a truly unique movement legend in Apex, then you are in the right spot. Abilities, playstyle tips, legend combos, weapons, ranking, and much more is what we are going to be going over today. There is a ton for us to talk about, so let's waste no time on getting you on your way to mastering Horizon in Apex Legends. Starting us off is going to be one of the best abilities in all of Apex, Horizon's passive, Spacewalk. It is simple in nature, but has a lot of usefulness. The passive ability lets Horizon have no fall fatigue or slight stun effect when she does fall from height. Typically, when you fall from greater height, there's a brief moment where you cannot move again. However, Horizon does not get the stun, and it will let her slide right into a gunfight or evade fire when you are trying to escape. Additionally to this, Horizon has increased air maneuverability. This basically means she can take tighter turns and maneuver a little bit more elusively and freely while you are in the air. The big takeaway is the fact that she has all this natural movement abilities built right into her passive, which means it's always on. As for that tactile ability, this is a gravity lift. This is a 10 second lift Horizon can throw on the ground to lift both herself, teammates, or even enemies up into the air, and it caps out around 30 meters in height. The cooldown of this ability is a nice 20 seconds after its use runs out, and players will be forced out of the lift after being at the top for about two seconds. There is a ton you can do with this lift, and we will get to this in a moment. But finally, Horizon's ultimate is gonna be the black hole. This is pretty much exactly as it sounds. It's a black hole or newt, Horizon can throw on the ground to suck up enemies that are inside of its radius. The black hole lasts for 12 seconds and has a three minute cooldown timer. The black hole also has a 175 health pool and it can be destroyed by enemy players pretty quickly. So you will need to take care when using it. Additionally, while enemies are inside the black hole, they will be highlighted. The black hole is the slightly weaker part of Horizon's kit, but it still has quite a bit of uses. If you are asking the question of why you should pick Horizon, well, it really does come down to her passive and tactical abilities. These two abilities work off of one another, and they can make for some very exciting gameplay that will let you excel in taking enemies in an aggressive fashion. Additionally, it's going to be these movement abilities that will excel her in fighting multiple enemies at once, as they give her a lot of increased survivability. As we move forward, be sure to check out my pinned comment down below. This is where I will be updating you on Horizon's changes, as well as how she is doing in the current meta of Apex Legends. Legends rarely go through major changes from season to season, which means I would expect this guide to be relevant for quite some time, and if it isn't, I will let you know down there. Starting us off with some tips, we have an emphasis on sliding capabilities of Horizon's passive. On a basic level, you need to be utilizing this sliding movement when dropping from height either onto enemy players to take close range gunfights or just to escape out of danger into cover. The big thing is to plan accordingly as you are going to have a little bit extra movement after the fall, which could get you into some trouble if you are not expecting it. A second area where this passive can be massively good is coming out of gravity cannons on Stormpoint. Since Horizon has increased in-air movement, you can navigate yourself a little bit further away from the pad by holding your directional stick or key while in the air. This allows you to approach cans a little bit more creatively and additionally to this, when landing from your cannon ride, you can go into a super slide with that no stun effect from her passive. This horizon guide is not a specific movement guide, but since you do have increased capabilities of movement, both wall jumping and bunny hopping will be enhanced. Wall jumping is considerably easier since you can connect to walls a little bit easier, and likewise, bunny hopping around is enhanced as you can have greater hopping movement. If you would like to learn how to do either wall jumping or bunny hopping, check out my movement guide. Moving into the tactical lift, there's a few basic bread and butter uses that you do need to have in your arsenal. The first is to use the lift to take height for either yourself or the squad. This will be a thing that you do multiple times every match, and there's not much to it. Drop down that lift and rise up in the air. The second way you absolutely need to be using your lift is for defensive plays, and this does consist of a handful of things. A typical defensive maneuver with the lift would generally go like this. You are in a gunfight, you get cracked or you're pretty weak in shields, you will then want to drop your tactical lift and hop into the lift. Pop some healing items, whether it be a battery or some shield cells, and then strafe in circles while going up the lift. Towards the top, you will want to jump out of the lift and then slide towards cover all while still healing up or getting ready to return fire. You can also heal up while staying at the top of the lift, but be mindful that you will be forced out after a couple seconds. 
The second defensive play for the tactical lift will be to drop a lift in front of a door or entry point. If a lift is in a doorway, it will stop advancing enemies from breaching through, and this will allow you to return fire or once again heal up. A second benefit to putting a lift in these areas is that it will add visual clutter and give you even more cover. Another great thing about the lift is that when you are on doors, if an enemy is on the other side of that door, you can even drop the lift on a closed door and it will push enemies off of that doorway. The point is, the lift is superbly great at making aggressive plays but since you do get that lift every 30 seconds from when you do place it down, use it frequently and use it often. Another basic tip for you is to use that lift to transport your knocked teammates. It might not be as quick as something like an octane pad, but it can actually let knocked teammates get launched in a way that is a little bit more controlled, allowing them to get launched in different directions when they are going up the lift. Back to aggressive plays, the lift can be used for more than just movement in a vertical nature. While you are in the lift, you do have perfect accuracy and players can be wildly effective at raining bolts down onto enemies when they are flying up that lift. If you can get it down, shooting while flying up is just so good, but at minimum, players should learn the act of raining shots down while you are on top of the lift, at least for a couple seconds. This can be one of the most effective ways to begin an engagement, or even just getting a quick knock on enemies to even the odds, or to get yourself and your squad an advantage. Another basic one for you, simply use Horizon's Lift to flow out of the way of a damage ultimate like Bangalore or Gibraltar's. It's a free way to prevent taking massive damage or that stun effect. Almost always when a player puts down a lift, enemies will expect you to make some sort of play off of that lift. A sneaky thing you can do is to simply just fake someone out by placing down that lift, but then making a play from the ground. Another pretty useful technique for Horizon's tactical lift is going to be double riding. You will get ejected when you are at the top of the lift, but a great thing you can do is to ride that lift up, and then when you are nearly at the top, jump out and then reconnect to the lift to take another ride up. This will allow you to stay in the lift a little bit longer and let you put more shots down on enemies or heal up a little bit more. When using the tactical lift, you do not always need to ride that lift all the way up. A great thing you can do is to simply just use the lift for quick redirects. Dropping the lift and then skimming around the sides of it will get you a quick, nice launch in any direction you desire. Similarly, if you do drop the lift at your feet and hold forwards, you can launch yourself forward to get a quick jump onto the roof of a building or just to take some sort of height. The reason you do have to drop it on your feet for a forward boost is because if you enter the lift and you want to move forward, it will take you a moment to completely get through that gravity lift. If you are unaware, the lift will affect more than just players. While it is situational, throwing things like grenades or certain abilities in the lift can cause some confusion to your enemies, and this should be an additional playmaker in your arsenal. A great thing you can do is to toss Horizon's black hole into that lift. Moving on, we have a few more tips mainly revolving around Horizon's Black Hole. The first is going to be the bread and butter Horizon combo. This combo involves dropping a lift and then while you are floating up, toss your Black Hole onto an enemy squad and then launch in an Arc Star or another grenade for some massive damage to those that get sucked into the Black Hole. This maneuver can decimate squads and should be used as often as possible. Preferably though, if you have a few grenades, you will want to launch an Arc or two around the Black Hole so they can get hit by even more damage just so you can cover a larger damage area. Another great way to use Horizon's Black Hole is simply just for cover. Dropping your Black Hole in open areas or even in closed buildings can help you get a brief second to heal up. This can be done both with the Black Hole blocking enemies' visuals or just putting the Black Hole down on yourself. You can also use the Black Hole as an audio decoy to get a revive off or just perform a revive while you are inside or behind that Black Hole. Likewise with this, drop your Black Hole in alleys or choke points for some personal cover to escape out of situations where you may be low health. A super situational tip for that black hole is going to be the vertical black hole. Simply throwing your black hole straight up in the air will add an additional delay to that black hole activating before it hits the ground. This can lead you to use this time gap to surprise your enemies for your advantage. This can work to catch chasing enemies off guard or those camping behind doorways. Semi in tandem with the previous technique, there's a way to breach into buildings with Horizon's black hole. If a black hole's area of effect is in range of that doorway, it will break the door apart, allowing for Horizon to make a well-coordinated push into a building. One of the best ways you can do this is to drop a black hole above the door on the roof and then slide down and go through that doorway when the door is breaking. A quick few more examples for you. The first is me dropping a tactical lift and then popping a battery as I go up that lift. I then can just use this to get away. 
In another game in a similar spot in World's Edge, I drop the tactical lift down, I get ready to throw that black coal, and then instead of an arc star, this time I pair it up with a couple thermites, I burn these enemy players when they do get ripped off of the roof, and we can just laser them down super easily. In a similar situation here, I drop a black coal next to this building people are under, they have no way to get away from this black coal, and I pair it up with an arc star and I do a nice 150 damage on these people trapped under the building. If you are enjoying the video, be sure to hit that like button. It truly helps the video get noticed, and I appreciate the support. So is Horizon any good in Arena? Absolutely. All of her abilities continue to have usefulness, and just because she isn't in the Battle Royale doesn't mean she loses any of her value. If anything, Horizon is a superb legend in Arena with increased value, as her passive ability is free and is always on, which gives her a huge bump in Arena power for no cost. The only slight negative I would say for Horizon could be her Black Hole in Arena. It's not really worth purchasing in my mind, during the earlier rounds especially, and I think items like grenades or more healing items would be a way better purchase than this ultimate ability. As for Legend combos, there are not too many specific pair-ups to discuss for Horizon. However, any Legend that can take advantage of enemies being trapped in Horizon's Black Hole will benefit. This can consist of Legends like Caustic and his Gas Grenade, Fuse and his Mortar Ultimate or his Knuckle Clusters, Gibraltar and his Ultimate, or even Valkyrie and her tactical rockets. In addition to these damage-centric legends, any non-movement legend will also greatly benefit from Horizon as her tactical lift will help her move those squad mates around. We now have the weaponry Horizons should be using, and it's actually pretty important. Raining fire down while floating up the lift or at its peak of the lift is a pretty big playmaker, and an emphasis on mid-range is a must. For those that enjoy marksman or sniper weapons, you may also want to emphasize using these as an accurate shooter that can get some body or even headshots on opponents while they are floating up that lift will decimate the competition. Where does Horizon rank in the meta of Apex Legends? Well, honestly, she's pretty insane. She is absolutely a top tier legend whose value can be seen both in pubs and ranked battle royale, as well as arenas. There's potentially a few other legends out there that may be a little bit more well-rounded, but for the majority of players and for the majority of experiences, Horizon is gonna be a top five legend in Apex Legends. And for those who want an ultimate movement experience, she's really a great pick. Respawn has continued to make some of the more interesting legends in Apex over the seasons, but it's these legends whose passive tactical and sometimes ultimate abilities all work off of one another, really make for an interesting playstyle that is both rewarding and satisfying to utilize. If there is one thing you should always have as a well-rounded Apex player, it is to have a few backup or multiple legends that you can go to depending on the style of your play or the mode you are playing. If you need some help with other legends, I suggest checking out the playlist in the description down below for more guides as we have covered every legend in the game. If you want some people to play with or if you just want to chat with myself in the community, hop into our community discord. And finally, stop by the second channel where I do stream. I would love to chat with you and I'll answer any questions you might have live on stream. And as always, happy gaming legends.